part 2 of the Where Are They Now series focuses on drivers who have left F1 from 2014 through to 2016. Jean-Éric Verne was dropped from Toro Rosso at the end of 2014. He then moved to Formula E in endurance racing, but stayed as a Ferrari development driver for 2015 and 16. Since moving to Formula E, Verne has become the only two-time champion in the series history. Adrian Sutil lost his seat at Sauber. For the following year, he was appointed as a reserve driver for the Williams team, but after that season, he retired from motorsport completely to lead a life outside of the public eye. After the Marussia team went into administration, Max Chilton ended up without a seat for the subsequent year. The team didn't even manage to finish the 2014 season. Chilton then returned to Carlin Motorsport, with whom he had raced with during his junior career, to drive in the Indy Lights Championship. He did quite well, finishing in 5th place while picking up a win and several podiums. He also competed in that year's 24 Hours of Le Mans in the LMP1 class, but ended with a DNF. For 2016, he graduated to the main IndyCar series and has been racing there ever since. After a miserable F1 comeback with backmarker team Caterham, Kamui Kobayashi left and competed in Super Formula for the 2015 season, finishing the year in 6th with 3 podiums. From 2016 onwards, alongside his drive in Super Formula, Kobayashi got back into endurance racing and enjoyed great success. He scored 3 podiums at Le Mans won the 24 hours of Daytona two years in a row, and is currently leading the World Endurance Championship. In 2017 and 18, he also took part in a few Formula E races and did a season of Super GT. Esteban Gutierrez and Kevin Magnussen were unable to secure seats for 2015, but they both stayed involved with the sport as reserve drivers for Ferrari and McLaren respectively. The pair of them managed to return as full-time drivers for 2016. Kicking off the list for drivers retiring at the end of 2015 is Pastor Maldonado. After he left, Maldonado became a test driver for Formula 1's tyre supplier, Pirelli, a role which he held for two years. He then joined WEC for the 2018-19 season, ending the year as third in the LMP2 standings, but chose not to continue in the championship for the following year. His plans for the future are yet to be announced. Alexander Rossi was the reserve driver for the Manor team and got to compete in several rounds during the latter part of the 2015 season. He chose not to return to F1 as he had secured a top drive in IndyCar. That season, he won the Indy 500 on his first attempt and since then has twice finished in the top three of the championship. Rossi also took part in the 24 hours of Daytona alongside his current role in IndyCar. Roberto Meri was the driver that Alexander Rossi replaced at Manor. In the season following his F1 exit, Meri competed in WEC with Manor in the LMP2 class. For 2017 and 18, he returned to single-seaters, but instead went down the ladder to compete in Formula 2. His time in the feeder series yielded relatively little success, especially considering the fact that he had previous top-level experience. From 2019 onwards, he has been competing in the Asian Le Mans series. Will Stevens was the final manor driver who also did not manage to find another F1 seat. He switched to sports car racing, competing in the World Endurance Championship, European Le Mans Series and various other GT racing championships, with the highlight of finishing first in class in the 2017 24 Hours of Le Mans. He is currently racing in the LMP2 class. By far the most shocking retirement of the 2016 season was that of the newly crowned world champion Nico Rosberg, who announced his exit only days after winning the title. He is still involved in motorsport, albeit not as a driver. Rosberg has become an advocate for pushing forward and developing sustainable technology. He has invested in Formula E and co-founded the Green Tech Festival to showcase this technology. He briefly took to management, helping Robert Kubica on his journey back to F1, and has since founded the Rosberg Racing Academy. Since 2018, Nico Rosberg has made regular appearances on Sky Sports F1, providing expert analysis. The other significant retirement was that of the 2009 world champion Jensen Button, although he did make a one-off appearance at the following year's Monaco Grand Prix. He then went on to race in Super GT in the World Endurance Championship, winning the Super GT title in 2018. 
Currently, he owns his own GT racing team and is part of the squad on Sky Sports F1. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Button has also competed in some virtual races, winning the Legends Trophy title. Felipe Nasser, who is not to be confused with multiple Grand Prix winner Felipe Massa, was replaced by Pascal Wehrlein at Sauber. After a year away from racing, Nasser switched to endurance racing, winning the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship and competing in several rounds of the European Le Mans series. In 2019, he also took part in a few races of Formula E. Currently, he is still racing in the endurance series and is due to make his debut in IndyCar. Esteban Gutierrez was replaced at Haas at the end of 2016. For the following year, he stood in for drivers in Formula E in IndyCar, making several appearances. From 2018 onwards, he has played the role of development driver for Mercedes in Formula 1, with his role increasing in 2020 to both development and reserve driver for Mercedes Formula 1 and Formula E teams. The final retirement of the 2016 season was Rio Harianto from Mana. He has now moved to the world of GT racing, competing in the Blancpain GT World Challenge Asia and currently in the GT class of the Asian Le Mans series. And that was the complete summary of drivers who have left F1 from 2014 to 2016.